Hey guys, it's Tash here and welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another vlog. So I asked what you guys wanted to see over here on my channel on my Instagram, which if you're not following me over there, then it's at Tasha Glacier. I'll leave it here on screen and I always link it down below. But you guys said you missed the vlogs. I haven't vlogged since my birthday. Feel a little bit out of practice with it actually. I just haven't vlogged in such a long time and I do always love filming vlogs. It's just obviously at the moment there's not a great lot to do. So where I probably would vlog more days out and stuff. I'm just mostly chilling at home like the rest of us. But I thought I want to keep on my channel what you guys like to see. And as you said you do love the vlogs and want to see one. I thought you know what even if it is going to be chilled. Let's bring one to my channel. So I'm still in my dressing gown. I've just got ready just done my makeup this is my kind of like everyday makeup takes me about 20 minutes to do i feel like it's really quick pretty much my makeup always stays the same except for or maybe if i am getting like content like other videos and pictures then i would probably pop on some false lashes but on an everyday basis just pop on my mascara but if you guys do want to see like a get ready with me updated everyday makeup routine let me know because i would definitely love to film one i just thought it'd be quite nice to come on and have a little catch up with you chill out together so yeah as i say i'm pretty much ready except i probably will just pop the straighteners over my hair as i've just washed it so obviously it's looking a little bit fluffy but in terms of my hair if you guys saw my video where i tried out the tones for brunette revolution temporary hair dyes dyed my hair red if you haven't watched that video go and check that out i will leave a link down below because my hair actually changed so much i didn't know how much the color was going to take to my hair but it took to it so well which was obviously really cool because it was so cool to see myself with a different hair color and i did that two weeks ago and since i washed my hair 10 times so i've given it 10 washes i've probably washed it a couple times more than i usually would just because i'm trying to get it out on the bottle it says it can take between 2 to 15 washes and as you can see just thought i'd give you an update it has faded so much obviously pretty much on my roots it's gone back to my normal color it's just sort of at the end you can kind of see a little tinge of the red still in my hair which is fine because i still don't think it looks an awful color like, it didn't make it go a horrible color as it was coming out which i'm thankful for as well it just kind of has like a little tinge of the red still in it i think it still needs a couple more washes to get fully back to my normal color but yeah it's pretty much is there it's just got a slight bit of the red in it i think you can kind of see on camera but yeah i was so happy with how the color turned out if you would have seen that video i did actually pick up a blue as well and considering this one has lasted a few weeks i don't actually think i'm brave enough to do the blue i mean i feel like it's more of a summery color so maybe we'll see in summer if i dye my hair blue but yeah i'm thinking i don't think i will actually do it but yeah i did actually really like myself with the red hair and obviously it was just a bit of fun because it was temporary but yeah if you are wanting an update of how long mine has lasted definitely it has lasted a long time and the strong nice color lasted a long time so if you are wanting to switch up your hair game i definitely would recommend them so that's a little hair update and now i'm literally just gonna straighten it and style it pop on a bit of my tresemme heat defense put in a little bit of this john frieda frizzies and probably just straighten today you guys know i love my curls but as i'm just literally chilling i think i would just pop the straighteners on it so i'll just put you on a little time lapse or whilst i do my hair if you guys are wondering which straighteners i use i use the keratin therapy ones from remington i've literally had these for years and they're so good but yeah they've just been a really good trusty pair of straighteners for me as i said they've lasted long and i just feel like they do a really good job and probably were pretty affordable so yeah i would definitely recommend the brand remington for hair products Letting go, yeah, it isn't easy Two hearts slowly breaking Living the highs and lows, I'm keeping busy There we go, I think that will do Like I say, just literally give it a quick once over And that does the trick The only thing with my hair is it's like naturally curly a little bit frizzy and i just find it never stays straight for long don't know if anybody else has that issue and if so if you can recommend something i can do to make the straight hair stay i'd be very grateful i feel like my main decision for every day is what loungewear i'm gonna put on for the day what leggings or tracksuit hoodie i'm gonna put on that's pretty much the daily occurrence just choosing the loungewear for the day so probably going to be something brown on neutral tones all that seems to be in my wardrobe at the moment so i'm just going to get changed into something comfy and then probably go down and make some lunch so i don't know about you guys if any of you have had snow at the moment 
I think it was like last week so many people had it and where I live I just keep missing out on it we just keep having no snow but it seems today we got the tiniest bit probably all we are gonna get and it has been snowing all morning but yeah when I show you literally the tiniest tiniest little bit but at least it's something uh, let me know if you guys have had much snow where you are but this is our attempt at snow if you can kind of see on the floor it's kind of covered it that much or on the car it's about the tiniest amount on there but yeah that's how much snow we've had i wish it would snow more i'm seeing everybody's pictures on instagram and their snow content and it looks so cute and everyone having snow days but i just don't think it's gonna happen so I'm just gonna have to settle with how much we've had today but yeah it's also freezing today and so cold so yeah i'm gonna have to get out of my dressing gown though get dressed and put on some cozy loungewear so today's OOTD is my tracksuit from the Sid and L X in the Style collection. This is from Sid's side of the collection and oh my god it's actually my favourite tracksuit I own. So so comfy. Hoodie is so nicely fleece lined. <laughs> I literally feel like my hair is matching the colour of my hoodie right now. Um, but the only annoying thing about the hoodie is where it is nicely fleece lined though it does kind of like molt everywhere. You just find bits of brown fluff on the carpet. I think it annoys my mum a little bit but I just love the hoodie too much and then the matching tracksuit bottoms these are wide leg joggers so so comfy and such a nice fit and then i've got them on with my cozy slippers lockdown life at its best so yeah this is today's ootd very nice chocolate brown collar and just very comfy which is exactly what we want i'll just show you full length in the mirror always feel like the lighting is so bad when i try and show you in the mirror but just so you can see fully what the tracksuit looks like i don't know if any bits are still in stock if they are i'll leave it linked down below but yeah, any kind of tracksuit I'm loving at the moment. So I'm just gonna make some lunch, just gonna make what I usually have for lunch. I just have ham wraps. So the wraps I usually have and love are just these ones from Sainsbury's. And I just pop some ham in it. Sometimes I pop in tomato and cucumber. This is what I'm gonna have for my lunch. Also with some breadsticks and some hummus. I think I might film an updated what I eat in a day soon. As I know you guys love those videos, I mean, what I eat in a day isn't really that interesting at all, but if you do still want to see that, let me know. This is my wrap, pretty, pretty plain Jane, but mm, I like it, that's all that matters. And then, I just thought I'd show you, this is the hummus that I'm going to have with my breadsticks. So, my mum found these and picked these up for me. I always say how it's really annoying with the big pots of hummus that you pretty much have to use them within two days of opening them and I find that really hard just to myself eating breadsticks for my lunch. So she found these little pots for me which I just think are going to be so much more ideal. So I love that you can get these little pots and also you get different flavours which I'm so excited to try. You've just got the classic hummus, the caramelised onion hummus or red pepper hummus and these are also the reduced fat ones are also good. If you are trying to be a little bit healthier it means you get different flavours as well. So yeah I'm not sure which one I'm going to try today. Maybe the red pepper one but yeah i'm excited to try them and a very good little find just catching up on a bit of emily philpot whilst i have my lunch but that red pepper hummus was actually so nice definitely recommend so yummy i need to get some water really i need to stay hydrated definitely when i'm just chilling at home like this i forget to drink water obviously that's not good definitely need to be drinking a lot more so i'm gonna go get myself a glass might have some fruit as well have a couple of parcels which i want to show you actually i have a pr parcel from love cases they have a new valentine's collection out got one on my phone right now which i want to show you and also a boohoo parcel with just a couple of like tracksuits in a coat so I just thought I might as well show you guys in today's vlog. So yeah, maybe I will pick the camera back up when I show you those bits. Okay guys, I just thought I'd show you the cover bits I got from Boohoo. It actually came in a really big bag. Because I think their tracksuit is obviously quite big items. So it's kind of bulked out the bag quite a bit. But just thought I would show you. I'm not going to try them on. But I'm going to try and link them down below if they're still in stock. So first item is this little skirt. I saw one of these on ASUS or it might have been Stradivarius, however it looked so short and I'm 5 foot 9 so it just looked like it would not fit. Then I saw this version on Boohoo, literally looks perfect length and I have tried this one on and it's such a good length for me. The only thing is I did stick true to size, my size at 12 and it was a little bit baggy around the waist. I maybe could have sized down with it and I think the length still would have been alright. 
But I just thought this would look so cute with my new chunky old boots from PLT. I'm thinking those, that, maybe like a cute white jumper, a roll neck bodysuit, a nice coat. Again, sticking to my fave neutrals. And obviously these pleated tennis skirts have been really in at the moment. So I just thought that I could make a really cute outfit. So that was my more kind of dressier piece. Then the next few are like loungewear sets. So first one was this oversized official embroidered hooded tracksuit. I picked mine up in a size medium. So it comes with the really nice oversized trackies. They are cuffed at the bottom, have the nice waistband. Then it has the official studio embroidered logo there on the joggers. And it also has the matching logo on the hoodie. I just love their whole official embroidered and slogan collection at the moment. They keep putting it on so many of the tracksuits and I just think it looks really cool. I just think having like branding and logos on bits like this just kind of adds to the piece a little bit more. So I've been loving this whole collection. And yeah, here is the matching hoodie. This is so nice and oversized. I would definitely say you could stay true to size with this one because it already does come oversized and it's just so, so nice and cozy. Nicely fleeced lines. But yeah, I love that tracksuit suit so so oversized and comfy obsessed then i just picked up this black one which is again from their other slogan range they have a lot of like wellness self-care kind of slogans going on at the moment i'm so here for it this one says fitness health and well-being club and this one is a sweater rather than a hoodie again nice and oversized picked mine up in a medium love the just kind of like black and white moment obviously really easy to style then with some matching joggers has also the little logo on the bottoms there it also has pockets and again a nice kind of like waistband and cuffed at the bottom these ones aren't as oversized as the first tracksuit but still a really nice fit and really comfy so again just another thing that at the moment i'm living in but also looks really cool so those were the tracksuits then this coat was so affordable for what it was and i was just obsessed so i just had to pick it up this is the Faux fur matte shine belted puffer coat. I always size up in coats just in case I want to wear like hoodies underneath them or in case I just want them to have that oversized fit. So I picked mine up in a size 14. Looks like this. It's zipped up at the moment. Obviously you can have it unzipped but I quite like it zipped because then you get to see the nice white faux fur. I love that white faux fur contrasted with the black. As you can see it's that kind of like puffer style material and then just comes with this little belt in the same material so you just tie it around the waist so just kind of like cinch it in a little bit it looks really good with this belt detail the way it kind of like cinches it in then it like puffs out a little bit i think the belt definitely makes the coat so yeah i love that and yeah i think this was around 24 or maybe like 28 pounds really really good price for a coat so yeah i just think this would be great for at the moment i'm thinking with faux leather leggings some nice chunky black boots but yeah a really good winter coat and super affordable so yeah that was a little mini boohoo haul i just said i would show you the collection from love cases so at the moment up until valentine's they have a valentine's collection going on they have a whole range of loads of different cases and also as well at the moment they're doing these little postcards which i think are super cute these are literally only one pound each so if you are picking up a case just pick one of these up as well they've either got these galentine's ones which i think would be so cute to write to your friend and then on the back obviously it just gives you the space to write a little message put their address and a stamp obviously just post it off to them or you could obviously even just post it through their letterbox but i love the ideas of these or this one just says sending lockdown love to you this one would be perfect for me I could send that to my boyfriend i just think that'd be quite nice to send to someone then the two cases which i have are the flirty frap which is so cute it's kind of like starbucks cups but with a pink drink in so yeah, I literally love that one. And then the cute little pink hearts on it. Definitely you could still use this one all year round. I just love the pink on it and love the fact that they look like little Starbucks cups. That one's so cute. And then the other one which they kindly sent me was this sweet love case. And this is basically just little love hearts with different phrases on them. So we love this case so much. So cute as well. Can't wait to put that one on two and all their cases are pretty affordable i think these two were eight pounds each and sometimes they have a free for two offer on their cases so you pick up two get another one for free you could even buy one for your friend which also i think is always a really cute little gift so maybe if you are doing a galentine's pick them up one of these i just love the brand so much they come in these really nice packaging as well but yeah, if you are looking for a new phone case or a little gift, maybe for your friend, definitely check them out. They're super cute. And yeah, I love a really cute phone case like this. So I love the fact that they have done a Valentine's collection. Oh my God, can you guys see the snot there? I don't think you can see as much on camera, but it's actually coming down quite heavy now and really fast and quite big snowflakes. I went out there earlier though, and it is literally 
freezing. I just wanted to show you guys what I'm currently looking at through my window. I really hope it does settle quite a bit though because I just want to be able to just get out in it for a bit. But yeah, for now I'm so glad to be tucked up in my bed. I've got my heated blanket on because I'm just so cold and I think I'm going to go make myself a afternoon cup of tea to also warm me up. Okay, I got myself a tea and a little afternoon snack, which has been a hot cross bun at the moment. I get so excited for hot cross buns to come back around every year because I just love them so much. What an elite little afternoon snack, a nice cup of tea, warm me up and the hot cross bun. And then on the TV, I've just got Celebs Go Dating On. This is the new The Mansion series. I don't know if any of you have been watching it. Let me know if you guys also been watching Catching Up. It kind of has like a little bit of like Love Island vibes because they all go into this mansion single girls and single boys come in and then the celebs date them but also the celebs could date the celebs the non-celebs can date the non-celebs so it's just something a little bit fun and different to watch at the moment so yeah I just got that on catching up with that in the background I'm gonna chill with my hot cup of tea and have my hot cross bun mm. so good Okay guys, as you can see it is now pitch black outside, it's the evening, I feel like I'm looking very worse for wear now, I just cannot wait to get this makeup off my face, definitely got to the stage where I'm like, oh my god, let me do my skincare, don't know about anyone else, but I literally feel like I can't keep makeup on my face for more than a couple of hours, I just always feel all like grim and just want it off my face so i'm gonna do my skincare i'm gonna get into my pajamas i'm gonna do what i do every evening get into bed chill out watch something on tv edit some pics edit a video just the usual procedure get a cup of tea and yeah um i will obviously pick up the camera tomorrow because i feel like it wasn't very exciting today i feel like i might do a little speed clean with me tomorrow get my room looking all nice guess you'll just spend another chill day with me but hopefully this isn't too boring for you guys i'm just gonna pop you on a little time lapse whilst i remove my makeup and i thought let's do a face mask as well i fancy treating myself to a nice face mask <laughs> My mum's just brought me up a cup of tea. It means I haven't got to go down and make one myself. Literally, that is like the most dreaded thing for me is just being chilled in bed and having to go make myself a cup of best thing is someone else making one for you. So I've just removed my makeup with my rose micellar water by Garnier. Just feel like it really gets the makeup off nice. And it's also meant to give you an extra bit of glow. And yeah, it smells really nice and also just does the job. So usually I'd obviously go in with other products, but because I am going to put on a face mask, I'm just going to pop that on now. I'm actually going to put on the Charlotte Tilbury Goddess Skin Clay Mask. I got this one in a skincare kit for Christmas from my boyfriend. Obviously it's a really small little pot. Still a little goes a long way. I always find it really hard to know what to like put this one on with because usually I'd use a brush, but I don't really have like a small enough brush. So... I just try and see what I've got and put it on, I guess. I always get worried I'm like wasting it though. It's so expensive in such a small part. But I'm just gonna put this on my face, leave it on for 10 to 15 minutes, then wash with like a flannel and some hot water. And then once I wash it off, I will then like carry on my skincare but i don't really like to use anything too heavy once i put on a face mask but i probably would just put on my ordinary niacinamide i think that's how you say it um and some moisturizer and that will probably be it just looks like i'm very pale and yeah i think i'm gonna get in bed and watch this program which i've heard a lot of people saying is really good it's called drowning and i think it's on channel five it's just one of those kind of like probably murder mysteries which are some of my favorite things to watch i do love that kind of program kind of thing you just like get hooked on so i think i'm gonna start that i will update you guys what i think of the first episode if i think it's worth you guys watching it charlotte tilbury clay mask on hopefully it's gonna make my skin feel good just quite nice to put a face mask on makes you feel like you've had even more of a little bit of a pamper so yeah i'll probably just leave my headband on so it's easier for when i wash it off but in the meantime i'm just gonna get my pajamas on sort myself out get myself cozy and of course i'm going to light some candles would it really be a cozy evening without the candles lit 
so I usually light a couple. I'm gonna light this one, which is so nearly at the end, actually. How sad is it when it either just like starts not lighting or you can just see it's nearly running out? I always grab one of my tea lights and pop it in my tea light holder. These are oh see that's gone out because it's finished. Won't stay lit. That's so annoying because this one smells so good. And it looks pretty, but that's the end of that one. So Popped a tea light in the tea light holder. As I say, these are scented ones. They smell really nice. This tea light holder and the tea lights are from Tesco's, by the way. Looks super cute. Then this little personalised one, which my friend got me to light that up. And that'll do. But I'm in need of some new candles, actually. So, going to have to invest in some new ones. But, yeah, that's... So I'd make it a bit cosy with some nice candles. Good morning guys, it is the next day. So I think I ended off last clip doing a face mask and let you know that I was gonna chill in bed and watch The Drowning on channel five. I watched two episodes out of four. So in total there's four episodes, just one of those like four part series. Um, and yeah, I definitely would recommend you guys watching it. It was one of those series that's just really like hooking, gripping, always leaves on cliffhanger and you're like, oh my God, I wanna know what's gonna happen. So yeah, good storyline and quite an interesting one if like I say you are into like the crime dramas. So if you are, definitely also give that a watch. So of course, again, it's another chill day for me. It's not really snowed again much here, which is a bit of a letdown, but I think I am gonna go for a walk today. So I'll probably just film a couple of clips when I'm out on a walk to show you how much snow we've had. It's really nothing exciting, but yeah, I probably will just bring you along. Other than that, there's not much else I need to do other than I think I just need to tidy some bits away. I really need to go to the post office to send off some bits and send some bits back, but it's always such a dreaded job. I can't be bothered. <laughs> the whole having to like go and then pay for the parking go and queue up and yeah first world problem but i just really can't bother to go so i don't think i'll do that today but yeah i'm just about to go for a walk and then when i come back maybe i will pop you on some time lapses whilst i do a little clean with me start my tidying been trying to stay more hydrated today guys and i've done a lot better i've drunk a couple of these so mm. i'm gonna get on to tidying up my room it's more just kind of like needing to put things away and just giving it an all-round spruce up so that's what i'm gonna do we second guessing would you stay with me if the world was ending Okay, tidying is done so I just thought I'd give you a little quick room tour just in case you're interested so I just kind of cleaned up this section wanted to give this a wipe down it got pretty grubby and dirty feel like it does because I put like cups and stuff on it but just on here keep it quite minimal got my diary which I write all my notes in and to-do lists in got a cute Polaroid this is from Primark got my Lush products a candle a little ring holder and a an overnight mask then my bedding i think is from b m is brushed cotton so it's so so nice and soft and cozy and then i've got my favorite throw on my bed i got this for christmas and this is from dunelm but what i love about it is the fact it has the cable knit effect then on the other side it's such soft faux fur this is actually the softest thing so it's so nice to cozy up in i'm in love with this throw i just think it's so cute and looks so pretty on the bed too then i've just got some of my candles lit 
then up here i have some really nice flowers from my friend beth so nice of her to bring me these ones around that one's got a little mind of its own <laughs> and then i've got this gorgeous jewelry stand which i got for my birthday from my sister but just love it got all my gold jewelry on there this is really good for keeping my earrings and then on here i just hang up my necklaces got my polaroid camera with the photo album i just thought that looked quite cute up there together then on here i've just got my weekly panel which to be honest looks like i need to fill in but i just thought it looked quite cute up here just got my little starbucks cup in the way but that is there then my wardrobes are from ikea just had to put some bits away in there so if you're wondering that's where my wardrobes and all my furniture is pretty much from then i just have my makeup desk which again i think is the man one which pretty much everybody has from ikea and then inside i just have these little dividers which i bought myself they're just trays i think i just got them from amazon to store all my makeup in and then these gorgeous flowers are from my boyfriend again i just gone through a pretty hard time last week which isn't something i wanted to talk about on youtube but that is why i was brought some lovely flowers so yeah these ones are so gorgeous from my boyfriend love the pink roses and yeah, they're just so pretty, aren't they? So I've got some on my makeup desk as well. Underneath as well, I just have this little storage box with like extra products. Um, so recently, things I've picked up, I've got a new one of my favourite hydrating mist. This is literally one of my all-time favourite products. You can just pick this up from Superdrug. It's from their vitamin E range, just basically Superdrug's own skincare brand it's so good so hydrating and smells so unreal so i thought i'd also try out something else from the vitamin e range and i picked up this and it was also on a buy one get one half price so this was half price this is the sugar and oil body scrub i just thought this might be quite good for removing fake tan just leaving my body exfoliated so i haven't tried this yet but i'm excited too i think this will be quite good as a little tan remover so yeah picked that up as well then just over on this section i just have some prints all of these are from december and then I just have my mirror which is from Argus with some cute pink fairy lights around so yeah that was just a little room tour for you all so I think I'm gonna wrap up today's vlog here there really won't be much else I'm getting up to as I've been saying this has obviously been quite a chilled at home vlog like spend the day with me in lockdown so I hope you guys have enjoyed nevertheless do let me know if you want to see more like lockdown routines spend 24 hours with me in lockdown or just if there's specific things you want to see in vlogs let me know and I will try and include them if I do vlog again or I might do a weekend vlog definitely do expect more vlogs when we can do more I just wanted to bring one to bring something more chilled and laid back to my channel just have a little catch up with you and I just feel like it's quite nice to see a little bit more in my life just feel like it's a little bit more personal so yeah if you did enjoy then please don't forget to hit that thumbs up button all your support really does mean so much and really helps my channel and if you are new here I would love for you to come subscribe come and join my little growing family and again it's a huge thank you from me I can't wait to see you guys soon with a brand new video